Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, myself Vignesh Anand. In this video we are going to see about the nickel cadmium batteries. So just for recall, you can go through my before videos in the battery section playlist. So coming up to the section, first the nickel cadmium battery, this is also one of a rechargeable type of batteries which is a very lightweight and portable and used for a lot of your uh, real-time applications also like uh, easy transportation uh, due to their easy transportation we can use this uh, nickel cadmium batteries for uh, portable chargers then wireless devices like uh, various kind of uh, real-time applications this is used then this uh, as per design it is characterized by uh, two types one is sealed type and the second one is your vented type vented type so uh, as a storage recommendation this uh, nickel cadmium batteries can be either stored as a charged condition or a discharged condition in both uh, we can able to easily store these batteries then the maintaining temperature should be more or less than uh, minus 20 degree to 45 degree after storing uh, the high height will lead to a crumbling of your chemicals so we need to keep uh, in a better situation like uh, the area need to be in a clean and dry condition then if the batteries is kept long for a uh, ideal condition means uh, we need to do these uh, discharging activities two to three times to restore the full capacity of your battery next is your construction construction wise this uh, nickel cadmium batteries comprises of uh, three major parts one is your uh, positive electrode as an anode and the second one is your negative electrode as a cathode and the third one is your electrolytic solutions so the anode is your uh, nickel main metal uh, or your uh, nickel oxy hydroxide then your cathode is your cadmium the electrolytic solution may be a potassium hydroxide or a sodium hydroxide with the addition of your lithium hydrate Going, uh, the lithium hydrate is added for your better capacity of the batteries next we will see the vented type of batteries this is your example of your vented type of batteries used in your uh, stations and in your chargers this is the example of your uh, components and construction of your nickel cadmium batteries so in here the anode is your uh, nickel oxy oxide and cathode is your uh, cadmium and the electrolytic solution is your uh, potassium hydroxide or uh, sodium hydroxide with a uh, water mixed which means a uh, distilled water in a ratio of a uh, 3 is to 1 so as you know that there are there is a two main categories of activities will be carried in your batteries one is your charging activity second one is your discharging activity charging in the sense the battery need to be fully charged for storing the energy and discharging in the sense when the load is connected with the batteries automatically the load need to uh, supply from the battery so the discharging activities will be carried in your uh, charger in order to give the supply to your load here during at the time of charging this uh, cadmium will be mingled with the hydroxides and uh, the nickel oxides will be further divided into uh, nickel oxy oxides so this kind of uh, chemical reactions will be carried out during your charger and charging and uh, discharging activities it's coming up to charging activities first so when the battery is on charging mode automatically your electrolyte uh, KOH which means potassium hydroxide will be split into a hydroxide and a potassium then the hydroxide ions will move towards your anode and your potassium ions will move towards your cathode your anode in the sense nickel cathode in the sense cadmium so as per the equation nickel oxide nickel oxide plus your OH ion will form a nickel oxy oxide which means NiOH4 so next in cathode the cadmium will 
connected with your uh, potassium to form a cadmium and potassium hydroxide so in such a way the energy will get stored and here the specific gravity of this battery is very high due to their uh, components so automatically your specific energy which means your energy storing capacity will be high and uh, the power releasing will also be in high next is your discharging activity so coming up to the discharging activity when the cell discharges the electrolyte which means the potassium hydroxide is uh, divided into a potassium and the hydroxides so the hydroxide ion which means the OH ion will goes back to your cathode and the potassium will goes back to your anode so in such a way the ions will get uh, normalized to your common position just uh, for your understanding we will have the equation for a positive electrode this nickel oxy oxide plus high h2o plus uh, free electrons will moves in the direction itself you can easily able to understand that it will get discharged to a nickel oxide and OH ions so if it is in charged condition means automatically it will uh, goes back to the normal nickel ions and uh, water then negative electrode cadmium hydroxide will discharges to a cadmium hydroxide plus uh, free ions so if it is in a charged condition means uh, automatically the cadmium ion will replace this to your uh, normal position so the overall equations uh, in the sense the nickel oxy hydroxide plus cadmium plus water will discharges to a nickel oxide and cadmium hydroxide then if it is in charged condition means automatically the cadmium ion will be returns back to your cathode position and the nickel of oxy hydroxide or a nickel will positions to your anode position next uh, advantage the main advantage of using this is uh, it is a very lightweight so it can be used for a portable devices also second thing is it has a very high current output voltage which means output current then it uh, tolerates a overheating also the overheating can be tolerated which means uh, next it withstands a uh, up to a 500 cycles of charging then the specific gravity of the electrolyte does not change whenever it is in stored stored in a charged condition or a discharged condition then they have a very low open circuit losses so whenever it is in a ideal condition the losses will be very very less then the internal resistance of the cell is very less even lesser than the lead acid batteries so due to this internal resistance they are having a very high charge and discharge current efficiency and it can be done very safely then the ampere and the watt hour efficiency of the cell which means the energy and the power efficiency of the cell is about 80 more than 80 percent so it is a very much efficient efficient then the energy density of the nickel cadmium batteries are high so as I earlier said the due to their light weight and compactability this can be used for a portable devices also even though it has a lot of advantage it has some of the disadvantages like uh, it is very expensive for the initial cost then the emf developed by the full charge cell is uh, about 1.2 volt which is a uh, very very lesser than the lead acid battery so if we need to use a nickel cadmium battery in the sense we need to have a series of batteries connections in order to update uh, upgrade or in order to have a high voltage level then next is the main thing it is a very very poisonous and also hazardous for the ecosystem because the cadmium and then uh, nickel which produce uh, poisonous gases uh, whenever a charging or a discharging is happening it will uh, make a chemical reactions with the electrolyte and produces a uh, poisonous gases so it will affect the human beings also 
லைக் த நிக்கல் வில் டேமேஜ் அவர் ரெஸ்பிரேட்டரி சிஸ்டம் டியூ டு தேர் டாக்சிசிட்டி அண்ட் த கேட்மியம் விச் இஸ் யூஸ்டு ஃபார் த பேட்ரி இஸ் அ ஹெவி மெட்டல் ஐட்டம் ஸோ ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்லி இட் வில் அஃபெக்ட் அவர் ஸ்கின்ஸ் அண்ட் பாடி பார்ட்ஸ் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த மெயின் டிஸ்அட்வான்டேஜ் ஆஃப் யுவர் நிக்கல் கேட்மியம் பேட்ரிஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் கம்மிங் அப் டு தி ரியல் டைம் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் ஸோ இட் இஸ் ஜென்ரலி யூஸ்டு இன் யுவர் ஆல் டைப் ஆஃப் டாய்ஸ் அண்டு எலக்ட்ரானிக் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் லைக் போர்ட்டபிள் ரேடியோஸ் வாக்மேன்ஸ் எவ்ரி பேர் நெக்ஸ்ட் இட் இஸ் யூஸ்டு இன் யுவர் மோட்டார்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ இன் அ சார்ஜர் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் லைக் இன் அ சப்ஷேஷன் வி வில் ஹாவ் அ சார்ஜர் டிசி டிபி சார்ஜர்ஸ் ஸோ இன் தட் பிளேஸ் வி கேன் யூஸ் திஸ் நிக்கல் கேட்மியம் பேட்ரிஸ் தென் எஸ்பெஷலி ஃபார் தி கேமராஸ் டிஎஸ்எல்ஆர் கேமராஸ் தென் பவர்லெஸ் சாரி ஒயர்லெஸ் பவர் கார்ட்ஸ் then for the power tools and the wireless phones we can use this uh, nickel cadmium batteries so nowadays this nickel cadmium uh, is a uh, batteries is further uh, developed into a uh, carbon zinc type of uh, batteries and nickel uh, metal oxides other type of hydroxides metals are used uh, for me developed so that it can reduce the harmness and it can be used even more portably and also even more uh, type of uh, equipments can be used so these are all the basics of your nickel cadmium batteries hope you understand i think so see you in next video have a nice day nandri vanakkam